Good morning, Cyber Traders! Oh my god, what a lovely Monday, huh? On this wonderful day, March 9th. I'd like to wish my lovely 11 year old a happy birthday on this historical day. So uh, let's just give him a round of applause before I get started. Or actually, a quick little guitar for him. Welcome, Lucas. Took a picture. I posted it on Facebook. I posted it on YouTube. I posted it on my Twitter. I posted it on my Instagram. I uh, took a very historic photo, and I think you guys should definitely check it out. Uh, that was pretty cool, you know, regarding about taking a picture with him with the market getting crushed. So it's been uh, – what a day. I mean, listen, I have – my phone this weekend, I thought it blew up even before about the coronavirus. Now with oils going down, it, I, I have my nephews, my nieces, my my cousins, my friends. I have people call me all left and right. This is on Sunday telling me, my God, what happened with oil? They're lower. And it, it, people didn't even realize until like this morning. So um, I posted a, an Instagram uh, quick little video on that. You know, I haven't, you know, so if you guys want to watch it on how to actually deal with it. But regarding about everyone being here now, today is a definitely historical, historical day. Uh, you know, listen, I, I know there's a lot of people that want to start learning how to trade. Well, unfortunately, it's a little too late. OK, it really is. You should, you know, you have to learn before you can earn. And you know what? You know, could this still go on? It looks like it will. But you can't think like you'd start jumping in because if you were some of those people a week ago, you'd be getting destroyed right now. But by the way, we're going to be going up and down about thousand points in and out, in and out. Now, regarding about what happened on Friday and all that good stuff, um, about the market, you know, listen, the the weird thing about right now is that, remember I told you on Friday we were at a very historic uh, uh, point on the Dow Jones. Right now we're hovering about 24,500. That is a very critical number right there, We can, and it looks like we're just stuck right there. I, I see the Dow futures. Is it halted? I mean, it's stuck at like 12, uh, one, uh, I, I've been watching, it's been down to 1,000 and uh, 255, and it hasn't moved ever since. I mean, it looks to me it looks like I got halted. I haven't seen it move just one bit. So, it is halted, right? It's it got halted. That's the you know that's terrible. That what happens when a stock gets halted, everybody? What happens? I know it's down five percent. That's why I figured. I'm like, wow, that's pretty weird. I'm like, has it moved? What happens? We've been through so many stocks that have been halted. Okay, so many of them. What does that actually tell you? That is not a good sign. We see what happens when they go up, they go down. So anyway, regarding about what happened on Friday, I mean, Jesus, I already forgot about Friday. We had a huge rally on Friday. The market was down like 800 points. We ended up only being down 250. And then and then you got the Saudi Arabia news that came out, and they just totally flushed the market. Let me tell you what really scares me about the oil market. They said that a lot of oil companies can default. And if they default between the bonds and, and the treasuries and all that stuff, and it, it, it can get quite ugly. And you're seeing some stocks getting destroyed. I mean, we're looking at one right. Look at Gush right now. Uh, G-U-S-H down 71%. I mean, this thing was started at 40. Could you imagine having a stock and now you're at a dollar? Okay, so I'm just telling you this. There's going to be some crazy buys. Crazy buys. OK, you thought I, I thought to I, listen, 2008 was a long time ago. What is that 12 years ago? And we still talk about the great, you know, um, the, uh, the the great financial crisis. How, you know how what great was this? This is this, this is no different. This is absolutely no different. Um, I mean, we did drop. I think we did drop down to 6,600. I think the Dow, I forgot what it was, like 15,000 back then, if I remember. So we were down like 50. I mean, God forbid, that, 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 that's a pretty substantial drop. And we were already down 5,000 from the highs. So there are some unbelievable stocks to trade. Um, listen, the, the worst of the news is this. Let me tell you what the worst part of it. When, when, the, when, the, when the CDC comes out and they start telling you what to stay away from and stuff like that, let's start off with uh, – uh, um, <laughs> cruise ships i mean could they actually hurt them anymore stay away from cruise ships you shouldn't be on any cruise ship that's what right away boom just when you thought the cruise ships are going to come back look at this thing um let me change it back uh let me get a two day you had a little you had somewhat of a bounce somewhat somewhat it went to 70 dollars. now it's down to 58 let me tell you you better this is where maybe options start coming into play, 
okay because some of us don't want to tie up our, our cash now remember i told you i'm not a fan of options i hate options because and the only reason why i hate it because that's the first first thing that people think to do because they you know it's a cheap uh, it's a poor man playing a rich man's game well this is the only time i will ever pay options and be a fan of it because you know what you, and you, you, we need buying power, and we want to be in cash. And there's gonna be some great opportunities. You could be able to do some great swing trades and some great options plays right now. But day trading, it's gonna, you know what? It's gonna just be fun in and out of thousand. But um, but there are some unbelievable, unbelievable buys. Look at this. I mean, this thing was at 140, 150, 140. Look at it now, it's down to 65. It's almost down 100 points. I mean, uh, Norwegian, uh, Norwegian. Another one. Look at this thing. Got destroyed. 70s down to what? 23 down 12 percent. Carnival was down 60 down to like 24. I mean, these things are getting crushed. Now, I, I, I could go on and on and on. But look at look at this. The percentage gainers and losers. I have never have seen this many stocks. I mean, the top 15 is 38 percent. We're lucky if we see like two or three of those, uh, you know, as the top one, two, 15. We, we can't even can't even go any lower than that. It is just unbelievable. There are stocks all over the place that are making big moves. You can start off with this one. SPEX. Look at this stock up 130 13 percent. Look at this thing. It's just taking off right now. A lot of you saw it earlier. Had a big move on Friday. Look at it now. The thing is flying. You know, so. There's a lot of big moves. Obviously, it's got some resistance levels right here, you know, up here up on top. So we have a we have a big big resistance levels, a, a big push on that one. Jeez, uh, ETFs. Look at this one, 78 percent. I mean, obviously we can't trade it. You know, we don't want to start spending money on a, uh, you know, a $300 stock. But this thing was only like $40 less than like two a, a, a month ago. Look at that, you had 300. Talking about killing it, killing it. All right. Look at these things. Endless. Look at these e all ETFs. AIM. Another one making a big pop. That one's going on the, on, on the watch list. Oh, how about INO? Remember that one? Nasty stock. I hate that stock. Shook me out so many times. I had that stock at what? Eight dollars. This thing has got some nasty swings. Look at it. Just keep keep going up. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Losers. Losers. My God, look at this thing. Gosh, getting we should put a, 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 a you know, a, you know, a, a, it should be crush. It should be, be a C, not a G, right? Crush is getting crushed. I like that word, <laughs> crushed. Um, I mean, just look at all these things. Unbelievable, down 60%. Oil, look at oil, oil U getting destroyed. Uh, you look at it, down 50, 59%. You, you've, uh, UWT. So listen, I'm going to put these stocks on the watch list, but the, let me just tell you what the game plan it is. Uh, cheap oil gas stations. Yeah. You know what, Ben? That's so funny that you say that. Everyone's, everyone likes that, right? Everyone likes that. You know, everyone's like, oh, well, you know, we're going to get cheap gas. Well, you know what? When you saw the financial crisis and you lost money in your banks and stuff like that, people like were freaking out. But we were like ecstatic. Oil is getting crushed. We're being ecstatic. But some people are like, oh, so that's great. Isn't that good? If oil is down, we're going to be cheaper gas. Now, you understand the economics behind that. Okay, that is not a very good sign. You know, maybe if you are, you know, somebody that doesn't like oil, you know, and, you know, you, 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 you're the, the Green New Deal. You're probably very ecstatic right now. I mean, but. For all those people that don't, you know, don't like oil and gas, you want to see how serious of a, how, how, uh, this is my recommendation. You want to have, see how serious that if you got rid of oil and gas, watch how this is going to affect the, affect the economy. And then you can realize that you, you just can't just turn off the switch, you know, um, just really can't do that. And yes, everyone's going to get benefit cheap, uh, cheap gas, but these guys can default which is really bad. You do not want that to happen. You know what I mean? So uh, I look at it as a way of, uh, you want to lose weight? Okay, stop eating for a week and let me know how that works out for you, okay? But I'm going to lose weight. It's going to look great. Yeah, okay, no problem. Let me know how that works out for you in a week or two weeks. Don't eat food. Yeah, you'll lose the weight. See what happens. It's the same type of uh, type of thing. you got to be really careful. So anyway, there's a lot of stocks going on. So there's going to be a lot of great opportunities to make money in the market. You know, I can't wait to see what happens when this when, when the market opens up and see what happens with these Dow futures. I Honestly, I have never seen the Dow futures halted 
This is the first time I've ever seen this in, since since the crash. Since the crash, actually, uh, since the crash, 9-11, uh, I saw the, uh, that happen. 9-11 had happened. And uh, what was the other time? There was another time I saw it happen before that. The internet bubble, that happened too. Very, very rare, you know, historic day for a lot of us. So anyway, there's going to be some great opportunities. All I can tell you is this. Guys, let's work together like a team. Do not hold overnight positions. If you really like something and you think you can get a good deal on it, that's one thing. Um, just don't trade a lot of shares. I'd rather you scale up than say, you know what, I'm going all in because that's like playing black or red. You know what I mean? You could lose it all or you could win big. And I don't know, I'm not that big of a speculator that you know when it comes to that. So be very, very careful how you place your trades out there. But today is going to be a hell of a fun day, and I'm really looking excited for it. With oil down and the futures being halted and you know us being all funded and having the right brokerage account, you know, to get in and out of these positions, it's going to be a very exciting day. Just be very, very careful out there. Anything else, guys? Circuit breakers are seven percent levels on two. Yeah, you know what? Let me just tell you what happened. I got a little ticked off this morning. My broker was down, my EC. I couldn't place any ECN orders out there, but they got it back up. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know I got, I'm ready to hit. I'm not buying anything until the market opens up right now. I want to see what happens to these Dow futures. All right. But let me tell you, it's going to be one chaotic five minutes of the stock market open, and it's going to be historic. So we're going to have fun watching it. Anything, guys? Anything else? Uh, Ben, you've already plus 50 on the, you know, on the SPEC. Yep. I mean, listen. That thing is like everywhere. Nice little pop. Absolutely. All right, guys. Listen. Good luck. Be safe. Let's work together like a team. And for all the people that are starting Cyber Training University here for the first time, congratulations. You picked a great day to learn. All right. And watch and see how what a real professional trading room looks like. All right. And then, guys, don't forget, tomorrow we do have classes with me, which is also going to be exciting. So we got a lot of events coming up. You got the list right there. Uh, I got uh, – Traders Talk Live on Wednesday, and then I will on Thursday, you know, we have open house. So look forward to that. All right, guys, good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, we'll start commentating in about 10 minutes when the market opens up, and then we'll do our afternoon meeting at 2.30. Good luck, everybody.